Hi guys, my name is Kong. Today we are going to teach you guys how to make some cooking video on YouTube. But before that, we are going to start with something very basic first. I'm going to teach you guys how to cut some of the vegetables and some of the meat. So there, we all know how to prepare some of the food first. Okay. So start out with, we have cucumber, we have celery, and we have some onion and carrot over here. So let's start out with the cucumber first. Okay. As all the food come, they all come in a one circle shape. It's very hard to cut them, and it's very easy to cut yourself. So, what we do, we try to stabilize them first. So we're going to cut the front hand, and the end part out, and then we're going to peel some of them. This is a really big cucumber. So what I like to peel some of the cucumber skin out, so they don't be too chewy when you eat. And cucumber, you can make it to a cucumber salad. You can just eat raw cucumber, however you want it. No. And, or you can make it to a cucumber sandwich. So. So we are going to do this, and we are going to cut this half, okay, we are going to peel the skin, peel the inside off, over here, okay, so, so this is good, okay, so now we can face them upside down, and then they no longer will be wobbling now, okay, so we can begin to cutting them, as we cut it, it's very important to how you hold down the foot over here and so we use five finger, pass down the foot and this doesn't block the life as soon as the life doesn't pass the finger of the height and then you won't cut yourself so when you cut, you move the life slightly forward okay, so you cut it off so as we keep cutting and you, we keep moving backward on our finger very slowly until you get very comfortable or cutting your hand telling you where to go and you feel in the light and both hand communicating very well then you can cut really fast and constantly go and you can keep moving and moving and moving and moving you can even keep cutting without working so your hand basically telling you where the cucumber is and how much you have to be cutting it so, but you have to coordinate it very well so you won't cut yourself so this is how we cut cucumber and same concept is going to apply to a lot of different vegetables over here, okay? One of the vegetables that I found really challenging is carrot. The reason carrot is so challenging because the texture of the carrot is just so hard and a lot of times you have to apply a lot more pressure to cut them and dice them. So, so this one will peel the carrot and then we're going to cut same thing like the cucumber does and then we're going to cut right in the middle but the holding area is not that much compared to some of the things so you have to hold it and apply pressure really well and then you just try to slap right in the middle okay and then it depends on what kind of shape you want to cut the carrot to you can cut it to just in pieces or you want to cut it into for a salad um, then you cut it as an angle going to be like this. Okay? So we can see some we can cut some very fine carrot over here and then you can cut them smaller. Okay? So so if you want to cut them to like cube or dice, then you get one carrot over here and then we're going to cut white here to a different angle so they hold some texture and then we're going to turn them around and cut them to this so they can become a small little cube on there okay so but be very careful when you cut and carry because it's just the texture is harder and they still move around even that so a lot of time I just slap and then chop it down so and then you can cut them to deep with branch or you can just cut it to saute with some of the vegetables together in the late, later video we are going to show you how to we all this vegetable we are going to use we are going to use it for saute with some rice or mashed potato and salmon together and now we move on to the celery the celery we cut them this end the front and the end part and we wash it up a little bit first
cellar we always have a lot of sand inside the cellar so you always have to wash them off okay and so we cut back on the end part so you want to just slightly cut it into half or cut it into quarter so they will match the size that you cut later on okay so you see I just cut right in the middle okay. so, so as we cut and go you want to deepen them okay and you want to lay them out okay you want to be able to hold them tight and still they are not moving Remember, if they are moving, you don't want to cut them because they are moving, you very easy to cut your hand. So then you just push and go, 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 go. Same thing as you cutting the cucumber and carrot. Okay? The main concept, you don't want them to move and you want your finger blocking your life over here. You see how my finger blocking the life and I don't cut up, so I won't cut myself. Okay? So as I cutting, the life is just slightly passing through and won't pass the height of my finger. So you will never cut yourself you follow this concept. Okay? But of course it's going to take some practice until you can get really familiar with the skill and the experience of it. Okay? So here we get some nice carrot, celery, and then we're going to cut some onion. Okay? Onion is right here. Okay? So we're going to take that off. And now I'm to cut them white. Cut a little slice up, and then we're going to peel off this, okay? We're going to cut them this either, you can cut the onion to like that for hamburger, or we're going to cut them half to make it half circle, but this one we're going to be making it diced onion, okay? So we cut them half right in the middle, okay? So we are going to cut to like cut thicker into the wing. So they will match the carrot and the celery we are cutting later on. Okay? So, so we cut them to all like this right now. So we are going to hold the same method. But onion is cut tricky because they are cut circle. So your hand cut has to grab onto the circle to it. So your life cut angle a little bit. Go in and then begin to go back straight up as you go. And then you keep the onion at the end to flip it over so you get more holding space as you cut. Okay, so now we have all this beautiful onion and celery and carrot. We can make it Thai and wedding soup, we can saute them all together to do stir fry, we can make it top on top of the fish or some of the meat that we use. So they can apply in many different ways. So, okay, that will be for the cutting video today. And then uh, please watch the second video coming up so we'll show you how we're going to use all the ingredients to make it to a wonderful dish together.